Hello everybody. Um, I'm kind of excited tonight because, well for one I got a new background, which I really like because now you don't see my room um, behind me, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, my friend Jen just got back. She's been in Peru forever. She and her are going out tonight. And we're going to our favorite Monday night spot, uh, the Rainbow Room in Hollywood on Sunset. If you want to learn how to do this, just stick around and I hope you enjoy it. Bye! Um, I've applied my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And what I'm going to do to make it a little more intense of a black, I'm going to use the uh, Mayron Paradise base. And these are water activated. You don't have to use this. You can just use the eyeshadow. Um, but this is just for more like an intense black look. So I'm going to take that and put it all over. Oops. A little more water. to make the shape that I want. Um, you can also take cream eyeliner and use it the same way and it works just the just the same. Like that. Very intense. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a regular eyeshadow brush and take my Coastal Scents palette, take the, the black just a matte black. You can use a carbon from MAC if you want and just put it all over that Mayron. And what you're going to do is sort of put it on the Mayron at the edge and blend it so it's not like a harsh line. And again it doesn't have to be totally perfect. Just try to get it as you know as precise as you can like that sort of like that oops it's okay all right so now that we now that we have that I'm gonna take the coastal sense palette I'm gonna take this silver okay and I'm gonna take a crease brush I'm going to put it just on the edge of that black. And because this is shimmery and that black is matte, I'm going to put it on here and then I'm going to sort of bring the excess down to make that black a little shimmery. And I know it's still a harsh line, but that's okay. Alright, then what I do to sort of blend out that harsh line, I have this really stiff pencil brush and I just kind of take some of the black and some of the um, silver and just blend it out. It's, it's easier with a really stiff brush like this because it really pulls on it. See? It's blending together. Okay. See? Like that. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is just take a black eyeliner and draw on the bottom with that. Just across. I'm going to take my pencil brush and blend that out. I should actually be having loose powder underneath to catch all the fallout, but whatever. Okay, and then I'm going to take eyeshadow brush and take that black again and just go over that line. And then what I'm going to do is I take that crease brush again and I'm taking this purple 
which one was it? It was this one. It's the lighter purple. See that? Take a little bit of that. And you don't have to do this. You can leave it like dark gray and black, but um, I like this. I'm putting it... God, that's intense. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Sorry, just blending out the silver because it's really intense. Okay, what I'm going to do is with that purple, I'm going to put it over all that silver on the top and into my crease. Then I'm going to take... Ooh, la, 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 la. I'm going to take that purple and a regular eyeshadow brush and bring it underneath. Okay. Like that. Then for the highlight, I'm going to take, since it's kind of shimmery, you don't want a shimmery highlight or else you look like a crazy disco ball person, uh, but I'm going to take a matte white, just a little bit on there, and put it on, blend out the edges, like so. It's really black. And then I have La Femme. It's called Rose Chiffon. It's just a like a shimmery pink color. If you can see that. And I'm taking a little brush, dipping it in there, and putting it right in the inner corner. Kind of brush it away. See that? <laughs> That's no fun. Okay. Okay, and next I'm going to take, um, I'm going to put on my eyeliner just on the bottom waterline. I'm also going to do a black on the top. You can't really see it too well, but it does kind of make it a little bit more um, intense black color. So you can do that if you want, but um, I'm just going to put it on my bottom waterline and I'm going to put mascara on my top and bottom lashes and I'll see you back here in a minute. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> okay, um... Uh, with any kind of dark, smoky, intense eye, you're going to get some fallout and it's going to get a little dark right here. So what I always do is just take a little bit of concealer afterwards. And sometimes I use my finger. Um, but I just kind of go over the edges to lighten it up a little bit. This this is a N NYX concealer. It's like the same color as my skin. Just about. It's a little bit lighter, but... Um, and I'm also blending it kind of down like this. You kind of see the difference? It's not as, it doesn't look like I'm dead, you know. And just go around the edge. See, I can also shape the line if I want. Actually, it looks kind of cool. Okay, so after you put the concealer on, just make sure that you set it with some loose powder, uh, translucent powder, or whatever setting powder you want. Um, for the cheeks, I want it really fresh, um, really bright, because I have crazy dark eyes. So I'm just going to use, um, oh jeez, I'm just going to use this one. This is my Coastal Sense palette. And then for lips, I'm doing a really, um, just neutral, neutral, what am I talking about? Just this is pale pink. This is Victoria's Secret lip gloss. It's just like a shimmery pink. I hope uh, you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.